today we are celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week by hosting the National Teacher of the Year event. As we know, there's overwhelming research um, that shows that teacher shortages is a problem all throughout the country in every state, uh, whether in urban areas, suburban areas, or rural areas. At the Center on Great Teachers and Leaders, the American Institute of Research, we want to create tools that would allow us to identify shortages where they are more severe, which is often at those schools and districts that serve disadvantaged populations, and develop tools that will help practitioners diversify the workforce. We believe it's crucial to incorporate teacher voices into our work. So we're taking advantage of the National Teacher of the Year event, and you'll be hearing from a lot of the state teachers of the year that are here from all around the country to get their perspectives on how we can improve the teaching profession and decrease teacher shortages. The biggest thing that I would change about the profession is the way in which legislation supports us and our funding. I think right now we need to fully fund our public schools so that teachers are empowered to have the resources to teach their students to the best of their abilities and so barriers can be removed towards student learning. As a career changer, one who was previously an engineer and who is now a teacher, I would change the compensation package for teaching. Right now I feel that teaching is on a tenure compensation versus a merit-based compensation. Therefore there are teachers that make a lot more money than what I make that are doing less work in the classroom and outside of the classroom. This is unfair for new teachers that are being effective leaders in their school. We know that most of our teachers in the profession are women. We also know that as teachers are coming into the profession, they're typically young women. And we also know that teachers leave our profession oftentimes before their fifth year. And I think a lot of that is because they are becoming moms and it's hard to tackle both teaching and being a mom. One of the things I think we could do to improve this is just give teachers better maternity leaves um, and then also more adequate conditions if they decide to nurse um, for being able to pump and things like that at schools, I think that would be really helpful in order to keep people thinking that they could do both teaching and being a mom at the same time. I believe that when our teachers get the emotional and social support and that they have a mentor that they can lean on and go to, that they will more, be more likely to stay in the classroom. So I would make sure that we really pay attention to these induction programs for our teachers. One thing I would change about our profession and would help our recruitment is if we started focusing on our growth scores rather than our final scores. We have so many people who want to see that end result and only see it as a number. And the end result is a constant. It's a developmental state of mind. We have to focus on the growth of our students. And when we're able to do that and focus on the development of our students, we're going to see what education is meant to do. And that is to give our students a life that they will love living. One thing I would change is that I believe teachers should be listened to, valued, and supported. I think that we inherently know what it is that we need. So the education system needs to listen to teachers and not just listen to us, but actually act upon the things that we say that we need. Uh, one thing I would change about the profession to improve teacher recruitment and retention would be to think about the way that our schools are designed and who they are designed to teach. We think about culturally responsive curriculum um, and we think about trying to recruit and retain a diverse teacher workforce of uh, teachers of color and, and bi and multilingual teachers. Um, we have to start by thinking about how schools are designed and taught. We have to think about who our schools are designed to serve. We have to think about who the curriculum uh, is designed for and, and ask the questions all the time. Who's telling the stories? Who benefits from the stories? And who's missing from the stories? <laughs>